Welcome, dear traveler, to an exciting adventure through the labyrinthine corridors of human history. Each era is a compelling chapter in the vast work of our collective past. Be enchanted by the chronicles of our ancestors and their daring adventures. This journey will broaden your horizons and make you reflect on the richness of our shared heritage. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Modern facilities such as beds, fires, and decorations appeared about 9,500 years ago. Those of you who lived back then and looked at yourself in the obsidian mirror probably thought the same thing as you do today. In fact, prehistory is a very long period, starting with the appearance of the first homo individuals about 2.4 million years ago. These early humans stood upright, spoke clearly, and had larger skulls. Some even date back to about 3.3 million years ago, with Australopithecus inventing the earliest tools, and even 7 million years ago, with the primate Tumai, thought to be the origin of the entire human lineage. We are separated from him by 350,000 generations. Human history began with the invention of writing 5,000 years ago. At the same time, the wheel was invented, which would forever revolutionize the way we travel and build. Although all of these revolutions may seem to be happening at the same time, it is believed that we jumped from cavemen to Puterhains. The idea of a civilized society is wrong. Before that, there were people like you and me, with complex languages, clothing, jewelry, and traditions. Religious temples such as Gobekli Tepe in Turkey were built as early as 11,500 years ago, and the oldest temples discovered to date feature ornate columns made from flint tools that were brought from afar within Turkey of. Kataloyuk, the world's first city with 8,000 inhabitants, was built so far back that the concept of streets or windows had not yet been invented. People walked through roofs and entered homes through small holes. Now let's talk about the Thera disaster. About 3,600 years ago, Civilizations such as Mesopotamia and Egypt had developed agriculture and writing. However, Greece was still in the dark ages of hunting and gathering. From around 1100 BC to 400 BC, the Minoan civilization dominated the Mediterranean with its majestic fleet, ornate streets, and exquisite artwork. Then one day they disappear. The eruption of the Santorini volcano caused huge destruction. The entire Mediterranean was plunged into darkness, volcanic storms tore the sky, and violent storms raged. Egypt has experienced four devastating tsunamis that devastated everything from Turkey to Crete. This catastrophe was likely the source of the plague in Egypt, which the Minoan civilization did not survive. For a long time, almost nothing was known. But when you think about what has happened over the past 5,000 years, wars, natural disasters, and the collapse of civilizations, you can imagine all the incredible things our ancestors experienced in prehistory. The meteorite that almost destroyed humanity 30,000 years ago not only posed a threat to the dinosaurs. For people, this is also a near-apocalyptic disaster. 30,000 years ago, an asteroid the size of a football field struck Antarctica. The Neanderthals living in Europe were lucky. Not only was the impact far away from them, but the asteroid exploded in the air before hitting the ground. Without this luck, we probably wouldn't be here. In fact, the deadliest impact occurred much later, around 13,000 years ago. A Syrian village mysteriously disappeared from the map, and its residents were burned to death. But the meteorite that caused it fell 10,000 kilometers away in North America. This event and its effects were devastating and became known as the Evoida Crater. After entering the atmosphere, the meteorite exploded into millions of fragments and fireballs that spread across the continent. The forest turned into ruins and huge clouds of dust rose. Within seconds, night fell and the land was plunged into darkness. Temperatures in the northern hemisphere dropped by nearly 10 degrees, causing a nuclear winter that lasted more than a century. This is an apocalypse. Nearly 70% of the population died, including mammoths and saber-toothed cats. Other factors may exacerbate the phenomenon, such as changes in Atlantic Ocean currents or reduced solar activity. 
possibly due to the impact of large-scale coronal mass ejections, solar flares sweep across the Earth's magnetic field, causing auroras to be seen everywhere. While it may have destroyed all our technology, it was certainly a sight to behold. This disaster occurred 7,600 years ago, giving rise to the flood myth. Did you know that the Black Sea was a lake at that time? Sea level is low, around which the Mediterranean Sea ends. People lived around this lake, as evidenced by the structures found underwater. If you were a farmer 7,000 years ago, you might have experienced an unprecedented disaster. One morning you'll be awakened by a deafening noise echoing through the valley. You'll see a giant tornado blowing from the Bosporus, 200 times more powerful than Niagara Falls. A huge wave will sweep across the plain. You have no choice but to escape, and quickly. The waves advance 10 kilometers per day. In just 30 days, the entire Bosporus would be permanently submerged. What is the reason? As the Ice Age ended, the natural dams of the Bosporus burst, causing sea levels to rise. It was only a matter of time before the Mediterranean Sea forced its way into the basin. Researchers believe this event may be the origin of the flood myth. Legend has it that there was a flood, and only Noah and his family survived on an ark filled with animals. This myth exists in many mythologies, including Mesopotamian and Indian texts. In fact, filling up the Black Sea would enable a mass migration of inhabitants from all over the world. Dating back 12,000 years, there is a cave filled with prehistoric paintings in the middle of the desert. You can see animals, lots of animals, giraffes, buffalo, ostriches, but the surrounding environment is 55 degrees desolate. In the Sahara, there are many villages that make a living by raising livestock and fishing. This is no joke. Fish hooks and fish remains have been found in the dunes. Maps from that period show rivers and lakes compared to today's maps. Contrary to popular belief, it is not humans who are causing the Sahara to dry up. Around 6000 BC, in the 4th century BC, forests shrank and the Sahara gradually became as dry as it is today. Animals seek greener pastures, and so do humans. The new El Dorado was the Nile Valley, the cradle of Egyptian civilization. Contrary to what old movies show, humans never encountered dinosaurs. They were separated by 65 million years. However, they must fight against real monsters, such as the marsupial lion, a terrifying carnivore. There are also pumas, which are larger than African lions, and giant birds with wingspans exceeding 7 meters, such as Pelagornis sandersi. Stories like this make you think, don't they? It is truly a wonder to delve into the depths of our ancestors' lore a tapestry forever woven with mysterious threads. Join us again for more adventures in the annals of the past and don't hesitate to subscribe, like and share us to strengthen our efforts in documenting the annals of ancient times.